Look at that. We have our contender. He looks like he's ready. He's moving fast. Guys, are you guys ready to see this? Are you ready? We have your guy. Oh, 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 he sees it. Oh, 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 it's about to go down. He knows what's about to happen. This is going to be insane. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture. What we're doing today is we're here at Beverly's Pet Center, guys. It's insane because I've been wanting to find out if they have something special here, specifically. That didn't make any sense that came out of my mouth. I have been wanting to see if they have a specific invertebrate that will actually contend against my mantis shrimp, Tyson. Come check it out. So, guys. We can look around, which we definitely will, because there are so many things here. Check out this beautiful thing. Come back. I have no idea what that fish is, because the cheese sheets are on the other side. So we'll probably walk onto the other side and find out what exactly species of possibly angelfish that is. Now, this is where they have all the invertebrates. On top of that, guys, we are going to interrupt our normal programming of what I got going on with Brazil, eviction, and everything like that, to bring you this, a glow little party with these anemones, guys. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my stories on Instagram, we're doing a huge glow party. To be specific, Catch More Fishing is throwing one of the fattest glow parties ever. So I'm going to be posting this video later today. Stay tuned because that glow party is going to be ridiculous. My Instagram is going to be right here below. Go ahead and check it out. Follow me as well. Now, we keep walking down. Check this out. These sea slugs are insane. And that little calm fish that's swimming up top. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I love clownfish, guys. You guys got robbed, okay? You guys got robbed in one of my competitions, something versus my mantis shrimp. Now, look down below. I was walking, I always check Beverly's Pet Center every single week. Now, if you walk over here, walk back. <laughs> we get down below, come check it out. You guys have been asking for it. I promised you a rematch, and that's exactly what's happening today. We're doing Hermit Crab rematch versus Giant Mantis Shrimp, guys. Tyson, it's gonna be insane. This guy is very active. This guy is very active as well. And you guys saw that Tyson crushed the other guy because he was dead. But that's not gonna be the case this time. He has to crack a shell. He has to be able to get inside and rip him out right out of his shell in order to contend with him. Let me know in the comments below what else you wanna see him go ahead and compete with. But definitely, this guy's gonna be coming home. All right, guys, so here's, we have some green chromis, which are very good for cycling your tank. You know what? I still have that tank in the house, and it's completely cycled with nothing in it. Nothing at all. It actually has one bluefin chromis left. Okay, we're good. Check it out. Look at this tank right here. Everything looks amazing. Oh, they're so personable. That means they're being fed every single day. There's, I can tell by the antennas, there's some shrimp, cleaner shrimp. Different types of variety of fish, which I love. A tank like this would be ideal. And, well, again, I gotta find out my living arrangements. Everything's kinda going crazy with that. I'll be giving you guys updates on that very soon. Trust me, there's, there's so much, there's so much you need to know. But, wow. These lionfish, amazing. They have an assortment of really big lionfish. Those are a little too big for what I wanna do. Beautiful grouper as well. It's a little spooked, but he's gonna be okay. Look how cool the lionfish are. There's so much flow in this tank, their fins are just going back and forth, like little fans and everything. I would love to do a predator saltwater team. It would be ideal for me. But also, I do want to make a small, little tank for a very special someone that I have. She's always wanted like a small little reef, so we might have to do that. Comment below if you think I should do that as well. Look at that. That's insane. I think it's fat. I think it's insane. You shouldn't do that. I'm, no, no touch. This is something insane. I have a tank that you guys know I have one, but don't know I have it kind of type of deal. Check it out, guys. Let me know in the comments below. I talked about this roughly about six to seven months ago. If I should get some dwarf lionfish. Oh. Let me just, let me just put that back there. I'm bad. Okay, so we have one of those. There's conks down here too, which is pretty ridiculous. If you want to check those out, that's like baby conks are pretty dope. Look at this, guys. This is what I'm talking about right here. Clown shrimp. They look like toys. They look fake. As fake as can be. It's ridiculous. 
That's what I love about salt water. There's so many things here that are just full of life. All right, guys. So before leaving, I do want to show you guys something insane that I found. This is absolutely awesome. Check it out. You guys already know that I love invertebrates, especially the crayfish, because I love breeding them and having them. And now that I have a lot of saltwater invertebrates, this purple lobster, it might have to be something we have. So guys, if this video gets 3,000 likes, I'll either come here and pick up this one and order a purple lobster. Just take, just take a look at that. Because if it's anything similar to the crayfish that I have, I might be able to breed them and then we'll have purple lobster babies. And we can do exactly what I do for those blue lobsters. Like the crayfish, the freshwater ones, I'll do the same thing for the purple lobsters and salt water. All right, guys, check it out. So I'm going to get someone to help me out. There's so many potential fighters out here. Look at that. Look at this guy. Look at his face. He's like, oh, yeah. You don't want none of this. Look at him. What are you trying to say right there? He said subscribe? Yeah, you guys got to subscribe for sure, 100%. So, guys, I'm going to get my boy right now. He's going to hook it up. Dude, this thing is ready. This thing is ready, bro. I think we're gonna have to get this one. Oh, that thing doesn't have a claw though. We need to have one that has a claw. Like that big one in the back? Oh, dude, for sure. We're gonna get that big one in the back. Way bigger claw. Yeah? Way bigger claw, you're right. Dude, this guy. Look at that. He's hiding right now. But you guys saw, that's a potential contender for Tyson the Tyson the Mantis. Da, 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 da. Tyson the Mantis. <laughs> Sweet, bro. Appreciate you. All right. Cool. Check them out. So freaking neat. Love those. I have these guys here, some yo-yo loaches. And a sort of tetra, I believe, but I did see these in the Amazon, which I'll be showing you in my future videos. And this, this is something that I want to do. Take a moment. Look at this tank. This is both terrarium and aquarium all at the same time. Aquarium in the back with live plants. Terrarium in the front. But also like subaquatic and aquatic at the same time. We have in here, if you look right there, filler crabs. This is something I may want to do in the future. So guys, comment below if you should do that or go a video and grab, actually grab one of those and feed it to Tyson or whatever the case may be. That'd be pretty wicked. The bite? Maybe, if you're confident, I usually will. He likes to help people. Yeah. He's, it's, it's a confidence thing. You gotta be willing to take a little bit of the bite. Okay, ow, ow. You took a little bit out of me. Oh, man, you got you good. You got me pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at me. He's making fun of me yeah. now. Who knows he did you? Hey, buddy. Look at this. He's absolutely ready. He is keened in. He is ready. Look at him. Look at those eyes. So guys, there you go. We have Tyson, my mantis shrimp, the peacock mantis shrimp, and now he's hiding because he hears my voice. Come around, peek, peek over. Peek over for the slayers to see you. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, there you go. Look at that, zoom into those eyes real quick. See if you can zoom in. Hold, no please. There he is, look at that. Oh wait, oh, oh. there he is. What an amazing animal. Oh my gosh. So we're about to go ahead and feed this guy. It's gonna be wicked. Come, buddy. Yeah, he knows me. What's up? Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, Slayer, so before we go ahead and drop that hermit crab, we have to clean the arena. But Tyson is very, very particular for what goes inside. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully he doesn't get too mad that we're cleaning the arena. Oh, he's pissed. Look, look on this side right here. Right in front, right in front, right in front. Okay, so he's not too keen at anything here. He is a nut job. I love Tyson, he's so cool. So right now we pretty much have cleaned the front glass so you guys can really appreciate his colors, his patterns, and what makes them absolutely amazing, which are those crazy trifocal eyes. Hey, buddy. Come out. Come out to play. You got to get ready for the championship, kid. Look at that. We have our contender. 
He looks like he's ready. He's moving fast. Guys, are you guys ready to see this? It's about to go down. He's going really quick. Let me go ahead and pick him up. He's not going to fall in it. Easy. Easy. Oh, just like that. That's what he uses as a defense mechanism. He uses that shell and he hides and he has this claw that he can pinch and put anything right in here. Let's see if I can put something to show you guys what could happen if this claw were to grab you. Watch right now. It's not looking good for you, kid. He's not even making an effort. So guys, as you guys can see, and as you guys saw, we have our contestant right here. Versus, oh, he almost came out again. Versus the mighty Tyson. Tyson, where are you? Look at him coming out the side, out the corner. He knows what's about to go down, guys. He's about to munch this guy. We have that rematch. We have our contender right here. Mantis Shrimp versus Hermit Crab rematch, baby. Let's do it. Oh, 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 he sees it. Oh, 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 it's about to go down. He knows what's about to happen. This is going to be insane. There you go, guys. Let's watch it happen. Oh, my God. 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 I don't even think it stands a chance at all. Clearly, as you can see, this thing is toast. He's looking around for the rem remainder of it. He's been ready to go ahead and bash this guy in after the last battle. I don't think the hermit crabs are to come out at all. At all. What? Dude, your contender is right over here. Come over here. Oh, did he crush the claw? He grabbed it. He has to rip him out of that shell right there. He's picking it up. He's picking it up. That is nuts. Oh my gosh. He's waiting for it. He's, he's hitting the shell, but not the actual claw. He's going to have to break that shell to get him out. Oh my god, it came out. It's ridiculous. He's running away. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. Oh my god. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, it's ridiculous. All right, so Tyson's on the back side. The crab feels like he has an absolute chance. Look at that, watch. Oh, he got spooked. He hit, he used the leg. This might actually be a real contender for Tyson. Oh, you can see the hermit crab's claw. I see it, it's all messed up. Yeah. He's throwing his leg to prevent Tyson from hitting him. Oh, see, he's going after the claw. He's such a smart animal. Look at this. Oh, look at that, epic. Oh, here we go. Get him. Take out the claw. Oh. Big hit. He's kind of subdued. Oh, he's throwing out his legs. Oh, big hit in the back. That hermit crab is throwing up the legs as defense mechanism. This hermit crab is actually really smart. Tyson's like, I ain't gonna deal with that. Oh, oh, oh my god, there's a huge crack on the shell. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look right below. He actually literally cracked it. Oh, he cracked the guts out of that shell. Oh, he's going around now. He knows what's about to go down. Oh my god! Can you guys see it? Look at it, here we go. Tyson has been putting a hurting on him. Oh, he got up! He got up somehow! Oh, he's fighting Tyson back! Oh, get him, Tyson! Get him! Guys, we can now have a closer look at the shell and what's been going on. He has crushed the shell. It's only a matter of time when the hermit crab either abandons the shell or Tyson rips him out. Here comes Tyson. Hey, buddy. How's it going, buddy? This is what a rematch. It's been a long time, bro. It's been like, what, like an hour? Probably something like that. Oh honestly. my God. It's not a little bit more, honestly. That's crazy. Oh, oh Tyson sees it. him. Look at that, he crushed that shell. They're so strong. What's happening here? What? He's leaving his shell. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's leaving his shell. He's toast. He's walking around with no shell. Why is Tyson not taking advantage of that? Tyson, take advantage of the no shell. He's already missing a leg. Bro, for real? God, hold on, I'm going through, guys. Tyson just found him. Tyson, he's right there, bro. In his birthday suit. Give it to him. But I don't think Tyson is aware of what's really happening right now. Oh, he figured it out. Oh my gosh, what a blow. 
What a blow from behind right here. Oh my God, Tyson figured it out. He's like, the shell is gone. This guy is mine. Oh, Tyson is putting a hurting on him. That's the end. For sure. That thing got blasted. And just like that, the round is over. Tyson has officially won. That's absolutely insane. Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the upcoming episodes where we go ahead and elaborate what's going on in regards to my living arrangements and the Brazilian episodes. And with that being said, we'll see you on the next adventure. Booyah.